Hello, children. Welcome to today's story session. In today's session, we will see the story Samira Goes Shopping. The author of the story is Bharati Jagannathan. Illustrator of the story is Preeti Krishnamurti. And the publisher of the story is Pratham Books. Amma had just begun to make some halwa for Samira's birthday when she found that there was no suji. Will you please run down to that shop and buy some suji, dear? Said Amma, pointing to the shop at the corner of the street and gave her some money. The heroine of the story is this girl. Her name is Samira. Today is her birthday. So her mother wants to make some halwa for her because she loves halwa. But when she plans to do that, she finds there is no suji in their house. She requests Samira to go to the corner shop and buy some suji. And she also gave her some money. Here are 12 rupees. Ask for half a kilo of suji. Take Mushak with you and don't talk to any strangers on the way, she said. And don't go climbing trees. She added as Samira set out with Mushak to buy half a kilo of suji. It was a pleasant February day. Samira sang tra la 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 as she skipped along. Woo! Woo! said Mushak. Friskily, Samira's mother gives Samira 12 rupees and asks her to buy 500 grams of suji. Half a kilo is equal to 500 grams. She asks her to take Mushak also with her and advises her not to talk to any strangers and also not to climb any trees. That month was a February month and the day was so nice and enjoyable day. Samira started singing a song and started to go to the shop. Frisky meaning very playful. So the dog was also happy. It started barking and it also accompanied Samira. They had just reached the corner when Samira saw a butterfly. Oh, how lovely. Let us try and catch it, she said. And both of them ran after the butterfly. When they reached the corner of the street, Samira saw a butterfly. She was so happy to see that and she wanted to catch and both of them ran behind the butterfly. It went and sat on a barmacy flower, but away it flew exactly when Samira reached out to it. Oh, oh, she said sadly, then remembered that it wasn't right to catch butterflies anyway. They should be free. When Samira went near the butterfly to catch hold of it, it started flying. It flew. So she could not catch the butterfly. She was so sad. But she immediately got reminded of a good thing. What was that? She thought, oh, we should not catch butterflies. We should leave them 
free these flowers are barmasi flowers yes a brown cat with gray stripes ran across and mushak began to chase it saying boo 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 and behind mushak ran samira breathless the brown and gray cat leapt over a wall and disappeared mushak and samira stopped looked at each other and laughed leapt meaning jumping far is called leap after the butterfly they came across a cat which was brown in color with gray stripes can you all see the stripes here these lines are called stripes now they both started running behind the cat to catch it the dog started barking boo 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 and ran behind the cat when the cat saw that they both were chasing the cat ran very fast and vanished from that place and they both started laughing looking at each other then samira saw a chandni bush aren't the flowers like stars in the night sky how happy amma will be to have them she thought and plucked a lot of chandni flowers the next flower was chandni the flowers looked like the stars in the night sky samira plucked some chandni flowers thinking that mother also will be happy seeing these flowers mushak sniffed at them and turned away he had found something more exciting ahead hey where are you off to asked samira but all she got was woo 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 as mushak bounded off joyfully he had found a bone and he held it out proudly to samira wasn't that nice sniff meaning to smell through the nose is called sniffing particularly smelling the flowers mushak smelled the flowers but it was not interesting for him but he found some other thing interesting nearby found it meaning to move quickly with large jumping movements which is full of joy seeing the dog going somewhere samira asked where are you going but the dog made some sound and jumped faster he had seen a bone there he proudly got hold of the bone and came near to samira and shot they had reached a great simal tree a twitter with parrots and bulbuls the ground below was carpeted with hundreds of rich scarlet flowers delighted samira filled her pinafore with the waxy blossoms her arms full of flowers she looked up and realized that she didn't know where she was the third tree was the simmal tree where the bulbul bird and the parrots were making noise by their sound 
when she saw the crown, it was full of scarlet flowers. See, these are the flowers. See here on the ground. Can you all see the scattered flowers here looking like a carpet? Samira was so happy to see that. She started filling her pinafore. Pinafore meaning a frock. A type of frock is called pinafore. She started filling her frock with the flowers. At one stage, she realized that she has lost her way. She don't know which place that was. She looked right and she looked left. She looked ahead and she turned on her heel. But everything was new. Samira was lost. She sat down on the pavement and began to cry. I want to go home. I want Amma. Moshak ran up and down and said, Hoo! Hoo! Which meant, don't worry. But Samira didn't understand and kept crying. She looked right. She looked left. She looked straight. And then she looked back. She could not recognize the place where she was. Now she realized that she has really been lost. She started crying by sitting on the pavement. She said, I want to go to Amma. I want to go to Amma. She started crying. Now Musha came near her and started to bark. By making the sound he said, he meant that don't worry. I will take you home. But Samira could not understand the barking sound, right? So she kept on crying. Then Mushak pulled at her dress saying, Boo! Boo! Which meant, come! Come! Till at last she looked up and dabbed her eyes. Off! They both went then, Samira sniffing a little and dropping half her flowers. Now Moshak started pulling her dress by saying bow, bow, which meant come, come. But again, this bow, bow also cannot be understood by Samira. The dog was pulling her dress Till she looked up and started wiping her tears. Dab meaning to touch something with quick light touch. So she started touching her eyes like this. They both started leaving that place. Since she was crying and she was afraid, she dropped some of the flowers and they both left that place. She ran behind Mushak, turning left and turning right, up one street and down another. And soon they were home. Amma was standing at the gate, looking up and down anxiously. Where have you been? She asked, looking at Samira's tear-stained face. Samira just followed Musha. He took her to the left side, somewhere right, somewhere up on the street and somewhere down the street. And they were home very soon. Samira's mother was so worried and she was waiting at the gate. When she saw both of them, she started asking, where did you both go? She also did not miss Samira's tear-stained face. And Samira told Amma how she had got lost and how Mushak had brought 
her home. Good dog, said Amma, and gave him a nice big biscuit as Mushak buried his bow in the garden. Now Samira describes the whole story, how she got lost and how Mushak brought her back home. After hearing the story, Samira's mother appreciated the dog by giving a nice big biscuit. Seeing the biscuit, the dog buried the bone in the garden and started eating the biscuit now. Just then, Samira remembered that she was clutching a bunch of flowers in her hand. Oh, Amma, these are for you. She held out the chandni flowers. One simple blossom was sticking out of her pocket too. These are lovely, said Amma. Thank you so much. But where is the suji? Amma is going to make kheer now as there is no suji for the halwa. Samira loves kheer too. And isn't Mushak lucky? He'll have a huge bowl of kheer in the evening with his juicy bone. Clutch meaning holding tightly by clutching. So now she realized that she has got some bunch of flowers for her mother. She just offered her mother by giving some chani flowers. One more simple blossom flower was also there. Looking from her pocket. So Amma was so excited. So it was so lovely to see the flowers. She was so happy and she thanked for that. But now she asked for the suji. Oh, where is the suji now? I need to make halwa for you. But then she realized that Samira did not buy suji at all because she lost her way. So now Amma has changed the plan to make kheer now instead of halwa. Samira loves kheer also. Mushak is very lucky to have a bowl full of kheer in the evening along with his bone which he has buried in the garden. Do you all remember that? We all have learned some lesson from this story. What was the lesson? We should always listen to our elders. What our parents say we should always obey to that. We should listen to that and obey that. Yes, because if Samira would have listened to her mother's advice, she would not have got lost. Bye-bye. Difficult words. Sniff. To smell through your nose. Frisky, lively or playful. Bounded, to move quickly with large jumping movements. Dab, to touch something with quick light touches. Clutch, holding tightly. Leap, jumping with great force. Try this. What are the safety tips Samira's mother gives her when she sends her on her errand? Why does Samira get lost? Did she follow her mother's advice? Can you think of any more good pieces of advice?